Hi, this is Jim Mulholland with Mulholland Realty and SciFairRealEstate.com. It's January 25th, 2012, and since we are having some torrential downpours out there right now, I thought now would be a good time to talk about floodplain maps and flooding in the Cypress area or Northwest Harris County. So there's a tool called the Harris County Flood Education Map Tool, Harris County FEMT, uh, that is pretty much all we'll need to look at if you're looking at homes in or real estate in uh, Harris County or Cypress in particular and would like to know about floodplains. So let's go take a look. So here we are in the Harris County Flood Education Mapping Tool, which is harriscountyfemt.org. So first thing you'll notice are a lot of blue squiggly lines. So these are going to be your creeks and watersheds and floodplains. So the darkest uh, co colored areas or floodways basically any kind of rain at all will probably have some kind of flooding the um, middle blue color is 100 year floodplain and the light blues like here and here are the 500 year floodplain 100 year floodplain means there's a chance um, that area will flood once every 100 years and 500 is once every 500 years so something to keep in mind so in terms of this tool if you have a particular location you want to check out, you can just put the address up here in the address search bar and it will zoom in straight to that particular home or piece of real estate. As for areas of Cypress that are prone to flooding, most of the newer subdivisions uh, have taken care of all the floodplains by adding lots of lakes and other kind of gullies to help control the flooding. So for instance, here is Bridgeland, which is right next to uh, Cypress Creek. So by the way, the, the biggest areas of flooding or watersheds in the Cypress area you'd have to worry about is Cypress Creek, which goes here, and Little Cypress Creek, this goes here, and they uh, merge right here um, between 290 and Highway 249. So for instance, Bridgeland has um, obviously done tons and tons of work to take care of flooding. Uh, it's one of the reasons why the tax rate is what it is because of uh, a uh, lot of that is going to flood control. Um, so you can see um, it's mostly white and even the areas here that are blue um, that show 100 year floodplain I'm pretty sure are not. Um, once they get all of uh, the waterways in the uh, county or whoever does the inspection will have to come out and verify that uh, it indeed is not in the 100 year floodplain but it does show that some areas near the creek up here or the lakes and bridging are in the 100 year floodplain but that would be something you want to look into if you buy a home in one of those areas um, up here is Fairfield um, it is high and dry um, north of Fairfield is Lakes of Fairhaven there's actually some areas north of Little Cypress Creek that show to be um, in the 100 year floodplain, especially those properties in Lakes of Fairhaven that would back up to the lakes right there or Little Cypress Creek. It shows right here they are in the 100 year floodplain. So that is just some things to keep in mind. Some other neighborhoods here is where um, Cypress Creek and Little Cypress Creek merge. I'm right here on Maxwell Road. There's a little subdivision right here. So if you uh, if we're going to build a house or buy a house here, you make sure it's on stilts because this is actually floodway. So that'll flood a, you know, a few drops of rain. And here's another neighborhood over here too, in terms of uh, uh, right near uh, was that Grant and Eldridge. There's some acreage communities over there, lots of trees, beautiful. But uh, in the floodway, in the hundred-year floodplain, um, another area is um, the reserve at Cypress Creek, which is right here on Tuggy near Spring Cypress, and Stable Gate. Both of those near the back, near Little Cypress Creek, um, are uh, in the hundred-year floodplain. So again, something to keep in mind if you are going to go there and back over here um, is in Chain of Valley Estates and some of these houses again are in the floodway and if you go look at these houses you'll see that they're actually are on stilts because they're so close to the creek here and are so uh, prone to flooding so anyway so that's the uh, floodplain maps again Harris County FEMT is a great resource to so go check it out so I definitely recommend if you're buying a home anywhere in the Houston area to check out floodplains since uh, Houston is so prone to flooding and uh, even if you're not in a floodplain, you still may want to consider getting flood insurance just to be safe. Um, it's really not that expensive if you're not in a floodplain. Um, anyway, that is it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.